For several weeks, oil prices have been driven by the media and speculators. Friday's jump in the quotes was replaced by a decline. This is the way the market reacted to a number of significant developments around Ukraine. Amid the news about a sharp increase in shelling in Donbass and the evacuation of the region's residents, oil prices surged. However, after it was reported that U.S. President Joe Biden and Russian President Vladimir Putin had agreed to a summit over Ukraine, the quotes began to gradually decline. Markets remain vulnerable to any political statements. The supply-demand imbalance has taken a backseat and oil prices are currently being moved exclusively by political expectations and statements. If the situation does not change, oil may well fall to $92 per barrel. Otherwise, the asset could gain another upside momentum. From a technical point of view, Brent crude oil futures are experiencing a correction. The psychological level of 90 acts as support, thus holding back sellers. If the price fixes below this level on at least the 4-hour chart, its correction will continue. Alternatively, the benchmark may go up and hit a new local high. As you know, geopolitical tensions have a direct impact on the Russian currency. Concerns of a possible military activity are weighing on the ruble, while any news about the search for a diplomatic solution to the conflict helps the currency strengthen. Thus, the reports that Vladimir Putin and Joe Biden had agreed to meet in the near future and discuss security issues acted as a sign of easing global tensions. Against this background, the ruble managed to par early losses and gain value. In early trade, the US currency fell below the level of 77 rubles per dollar. If the media stop dramatizing things, the greenback may well slide below 76 rubles. But again, much depends on fundamental factors. Speaking of technical analysis, the dollar-ruble pair continues to trade upwards. On Friday, the price jumped to 77.5 rubles per dollar and then entered a natural pullback. Market participants touched the resistance area of 77.40 and 77.70. Earlier, these levels served as the basis for a rebound. In order for the price to continue its bullish run, it needs to consolidate above the level of 78 rubles per dollar on the 4-hour chart. Otherwise, a pullback may be delayed. Amid market uncertainty, gold is traditionally considered a safe haven asset. The higher the global security risks are, the more traders are shifting their focus to this precious metal. On Friday, gold rose above $1,900 an ounce, but then fell to $1,890 again. A decline was triggered by the news about the upcoming negotiations. At the same time, this downward movement can also be regarded as a local rebound after overcoming the psychological level. Given that there are no real signs of easing geopolitical tensions around Ukraine, gold as one of the main safe haven trading instruments has every chance of extending gains. From a technical point of view, gold futures slowed down around the level of $1,900 per ounce. This signals that the level is still putting pressure on buyers. Nevertheless, market sentiment is still bullish. If the price consolidates above $1,900 per ounce on the 4-hour chart, it will most likely head towards the $1,920 mark. At the same time, it is worth considering that the asset is overbought. This means that gold may well enter a technical correction. And well, that's our forecast for the beginning of the week. Growing worries about Russia-Ukraine tensions continue to rattle investors. So stay tuned for the latest news and have a profitable trading day. See you soon.